Hello folks and welcome back to Ben and Berlin. This week we're going to walk to Teglersee, a lake in the northwest corner of Berlin. It's the second biggest lake in Berlin. But right now we're in Rehberger Park in Wedding, which some of you may recall from the video we did about the wild boars. And you may have remembered that we couldn't find the wild boars anywhere. But I've just walked past their enclosure and guess what? Now they're making an appearance. Yeah, so I can't believe after spending quite a while walking, walking around here, trying to find these wild boar to show you guys what they're like in Berlin. They're actually out and about right now. And guess what? It's just, it just started raining. Why is it always raining when I come and try and find wild boar? Um, this isn't what the, this uh, week's episode is about. We are going to a lake um, to have a look at Teglazi. Um, but it's really cool to see them out and about in this area just here. Hopefully you can still see them. There's one just there wandering off from the, the pond. And the other one is sort of looking... Uh, he's actually hiding behind that post. Uh, the other one is... There we go. It's just, uh, just here. But they seem quite contempt with just having a, a relaxing time. Anyway, let's go find this lake. Hey, so we just walked through... Um, well, the allotments which come just behind Rayburger, uh, we then pass an American football field, uh, which is very unusual to find, hidden behind the woods and allotments in, uh, in Berlin. And then this area full of graffiti. And I've seen artists working there all times of the day. Um, and they're constantly painting over, redoing, painting over, redoing. And I don't think it's, um, I think it's just a wall, you know, just part of a, would have been a site there and they're just using it to express their, um, their creativity. And you can see that pile of uh, cans, because I guess they, uh, they don't bring bin bags with them. But now walking down a path that runs uh, next to the water, and the only uh, people you see along here are cyclists, runners, and Ben in Berlin. But it's very peaceful on this side, on the other side of the road, uh, on the other side of the river, there's, uh, there's a rose. That's a little bit noisy on that side. But on this side, very calm, very peaceful. So we've just come away from the water and past some more allotments. And you get to this big uh, security fence here with the barbed wire on top. And there's some windows looking through, but what's behind this wall? So now the, uh, the wall is, is a fence, still with the barbed wire at the top, and we can see a road on the other side. Now, is this fence trying to keep something inside there, or is it trying to keep us from getting inside? So now there are fences on either side of us here. What are we walking into? Whatever it is, it likes raspberries. Just not sure what it, what it could be, but you can probably hear that in the background. That gives, that gives us a couple of clues to what, um, to what, <laughs> to where we are. Sounds like it's getting quite loud, doesn't it? Very loud, very mechanic sound. Airport, Tegel Airport. Okay, <laughs> now it's a bit quieter. Um, yes, yeah, so this is this is this is Tegel Airport. It's not dinosaur land. This is probably one of the last times we'll see planes fly from this place. It's uh, it's closing 8th of November 2020. Is the current date of the last planes, I believe. Um, because finally, after a hundred year wait, no, two hundred year wait, no, it's a long wait for for Germany. Um, Berlin, Berlin's new airport will open. Uh, over in uh, the southeast corner. And Tegel Airport, which wasn't supposed to last this long, will be no more. So just a few seconds, really, from where we just were next to the airport, you're in the start of Tegel Forest, Te Tegel Forest, which is, um, you know, a really green, luscious place. Nothing has yet in here started to turn 
uh, to autumn colors. You know. So I've just walked back for a closer view of the, um, of the airport here. See all behind us. Might be able to spot in the distance. Uh, hmm. Around that area, some easy jet planes. I guess a lot of planes are still grounded. And then oddly, a very, very old plane just here. I guess maybe this is used for training purposes or, um, or just decoration. I was hoping we might see another plane take off, but uh, obviously less frequent at the moment still. So let's uh, let's carry on to the lake. We keep getting distracted, don't we? We're going to take a see. It's not about boars or airports. Uh, we are going to a lake. Just making our way from the edge of the forest and starting to see now one of the many beaches on Tegla Z. So folks, this is Tegla Z or Tegel Lake. I said we'd eventually get here and it's incredibly beautiful, very peaceful. We're in the northwest corner of Berlin, and this is the second largest lake in Berlin. About 450 acres in size. So behind us here, we can see this island. There are nine islands in Teglerzing. You can obviously swim to these in, in the nice weather, like, like today, to be fair, or you can hire boats as well from uh, an area called Greenwich Promenade. And there you can actually take uh, tour boats on steamer boats and go on the lake, but also down the Havel River as well. A pretty good visibility, um, Teglerzing. They say the depth you can see in centimetres is 330. On the other side of uh, Tegler Z, so up towards the north side, you'll come across a very famous tree. And that's called Dicca Maria, or um, Fat Mary. And it's the oldest tree in Berlin. It's potentially 800 to 900 years old. But this tree is then potentially older than Berlin. But folks, this has been quite a short and sweet and hopefully calm and peaceful uh, episode this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. I just wanted to show you guys one of the many beautiful lakes in Berlin, how they're quite nice to get to, how when you come here, the peaceful, calm, um, I say that in, in the height of summer, they're, they're busy and a little bit mad sometimes, um, but it's great to have these places to cool off in, uh, in Berlin, or indeed just go for a nice walk uh, in any season. So thanks for joining me on this episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed this look into Teglerzy. Hopefully a bit peaceful and tranquil in these times of, uh, well, madness. <laughs> but I'll, um, I'll see you guys soon. All the very best. Tschüss.